Make sure you watch this video before you break anything. What's up everyone? Just a quick short video to show you how to close an upper and lower of an AR-15 that has an Echo 2 trigger pack installed. Lucky for you all, I have one available. Now, no magazine in the mag well, nothing in the chamber. We will open the lower and upper. And then as you can see, there is a trigger pack installed. First thing you're gonna do, well, first thing I'll show you is with the upper and lower, you cannot push that pin through because you cannot get past that safety bar. That safety bar has to be forward when you close the upper and lower. And the only way to do that is to one, put the uh, selector on the third position, which is your echo mode, and holding the trigger or holding the hammer so it doesn't strike the lower, and you push the safety bar forward, pull the trigger, and let it drop uh, slowly so it doesn't do any damage. Now holding the trigger back keeps that safety bar forward. That way you can close the upper and lower. I don't know if I got it. Okay, I don't. You gotta make sure that sucker's all the way forward and then push that pin through. You can release the trigger, put it on semi, charge it, because the hammer's still down. Charge it, put it on safe, and then you, there you go. You've now closed the upper and lower. Now this here is a pretty sweet build. If you're interested in it, you can find it at Antyrant Solutions. You know what? This video is not about this rifle, it's more or less about the trigger pack and making sure you know how to close your upper and lower without doing any damage because Lord knows these triggers are not cheap. All right guys, later.